Sparta jumps out to a quick 3-0 lead over Pope John in the backyard brawl. Watch Austin Unglob knock down the tray for the Spartans. But watch hardworking Ryan Izzo of Pope John with the putback, and the Lions take a 6-3 lead. And the Lions will take a 14-9 lead after one quarter. Watch the big guy Mustafa Zhang with the drive to the hoop, and Pope John's up by five. Second quarter we go and watch Matt Chemis of Sparta with a nice baseline move and he draws the foul and Sparta trails by 5, 16-11. Then it's the big guy Mitch Cohen, he takes the great entry pass from Chemis and he throws it down for two and Sparta trails by 5, 20-15. And Sparta keeps the run going here, watch Anthony Argula with a running one-hander and it goes and Sparta retakes the lead 21-20. Then watch Matt Chemis end the big second quarter here and an 11-0 run as he drains the three off the kick from Anthony Orgula and Sparta has a four-point lead at the half, 24-20. Okay, third quarter we go. Watch Sparta off the inbounds. It's Matt Chemis. He gets it back to Austin Unglob and he knocks down the three and Sparta has a seven-point lead, 27-20. Then watch Chemis attack the basket with the drive to push Sparta's lead to 10, 33-23. Oh, boy. But the Lions have Mustafa Zhang, folks, one of the best players in the country. Watch him work the board, and he throws it down with the dunk to cut Sparta's lead to 33-27 after three quarters of play here at Sparta. Okay, fourth quarter we go, and Matt Zignorski comes out on fire for Pope John, and he scores four straight points to start the quarter, including this one-hander, and it's a two-point game, 33-31 Sparta. And then watch Thomas Ruddy of Sparta work the glass, and he scores, and he's fouled, as he knocks down the free throw and Sparta's up by three, 36-33. Then it's Anthony Urgula with another assist and Kevin Folds buries the three and Sparta's up by six, 39-33. Then it's Folds here with the big stick back for Sparta as they push their lead to 41-35 with 2.28 left. All right, you know Pope John wasn't gonna go away and they make a run and watch Matt Zignorski with a huge three and it's a one point game 43-42, wow. All right, Pope John trailing by two here, 44-42. They have one last chance, and the shot is short, and Sparta pulls off the major upset, 44-42, to keep their American division hopes alive here at Sparta High School. Honestly, it's like, you can't even like bear the feeling right now. I'm, I'm beyond happy, my teammates are beyond happy, and I've, I've never been so happy in my life right now. Best feeling in the world, you know? They beat us uh, last three times, uh, four times, and you know, just coming out, playing great, you know, coming to this game, and we have a huge underdog, you know, even though we were close last game to beat them, huge underdog, you know, they beat Mount All by 30, we lost to them last, like, last week, so it's just the best feeling ever, you know, we, all of us play together, first, uh, whether it's Austin playing the point, or the uh, eighth guy getting us water off the bench, it's the best feeling ever to beat Po John, and uh, it's going to be awesome uh, tonight and tomorrow in school. And uh, it's going to be awesome. It's the best feeling ever. It's unbelievable. I mean, we've said it since day one. Um, it's about heart and it's about who's in the locker room. And I think uh, even if the crowd wasn't here, even if it was just us playing against them, we would have the energy. I mean, since fifth grade, the, four, the five starters have been playing together. And I think that's a big deal with that, having that chemistry and just knowing what each other are going to do before they actually do it. And I think it's a big deal why we pulled together and when we were down, when we were up and just kept it with it. And I think that's why we won't pull that. It feels great just knowing that we're one team from one town and their Pope John is the biggest rival that we have, obviously. And just coming in and beating them in our gym just feels great. Just, again, all credit to the kids. I mean, we knew coming out tonight, you know, every time we play them, they, they've got such incredible talent. Um, you know, they, they, they play hard, they're well coached. So we knew we had to bring our A game, A plus game tonight. Uh, we had to leave everything on the floor, and tonight I think our kids did. What a tremendous win for this Sparta program. They haven't beaten Pope John in a while, and a big part of that was play off the bench, Anthony Argula and Teddy Fisher as well. I didn't know Austin's contact fell off, so I was pretty, I came in pretty early, so I was pretty unexpected. That was pretty unexpected, but when I went and I just did my best I could, and I hustled everywhere, and I just provided a lot of energy, and I just gave my best effort. Absolutely, you know, even Teddy Fisher came in for a couple minutes there, and uh, just again, we, we talk to these guys every single day. When you get the opportunity, take advantage of it. Uh, when you get the opportunity to remember, it's about the team, it's, it's not about you, and it's not about playing time, and, and Anthony and Teddy, and, and even Dylan Mandel and Tim Pugley are all examples of that. So when he got his minutes, he made the most of them. Pope John's the two-time defending champ of the Hunter Warren Sussex Tournament. With this win, Sparta feels like maybe this is the year they knocked the P.J. Lions off their throne. 
oh, we think we could beat them again next time. We already talked about it in the locker room. We're, we're so excited to play them again. It's huge. Being Pope John, who right now is ranked 15th in the state, there's not many teams that are ranked above them, and just coming in and beating them like we did is just it's a great feeling. It's an understatement to say that it's, it's humongous for us, but we got to go to work tomorrow. We got a tournament game on Saturday against the Warren Hills team, who's you know got some very good skill players, and uh, so we got to make sure we turn the page quickly.